it's me, Kaya. I post a lot about music, and I just wanted to share with y'all some of my favorite tunes that I listened to in 2022. Let's get into it. According to Apple Music, I listen to Mac Ayers more than any other artist in the year 2022. Some of his songs that I like are Every Time, Jumping Off the Moon, and Something More. It's very 90s, a little bit of funk, no matter what. I don't care who's singing. If it, if he sound like his R&B, I'm listening. I hope I'm saying his name right. Mac Air? Mac Air. Sorry. This one surprised me. I don't really like whatever song is the most popular and Dua Lipa was like everywhere in 2022. But I watched her tiny desk and okay Dua Lipa, you got a fan in me. If you're a music fan and you wanna find some new music, go to YouTube, watch Colors. They got all the new artists um, there and it's, aesthetically it's beautiful to look at. Um, and it's very intimate. Anyway, I saw her do Ice Baby and I was hooked instantly. I love rap, I love women who can rap. I love black women who can rap, so I'm a fan. I love Flo Millie. So, this needs no explanation. It is the queen. I've listened to this album nonstop. My daughter and I listened to this album, the clean version, nonstop. Beyonce grows every single album. She connects with her core fan base as they grow too. And that's why I will always stand for Beyonce. Other girls can try, they try, but they just don't grow up. Uh, Brent, Brent Fayez, Fayez. I discovered him through Goat Link, like a lot of other people did. Um, and I tried to, I tried, I tried. I cannot get into his music. I don't know what it is, I just, I can't listen to it. But I gave it a good go. I listen to this record on my record player almost every single morning. Flamenco Sketches is my absolute favorite track. I've always listened to bits and pieces of Miles Davis, but I've never fully done a deep dive in, into his discography, but I'm still in the process of doing that. Um, not only his music, but him as a person which is a little sad because he was um, an abuser. Apparently not a very nice person, but men that are brilliant or consider themselves brilliant and contribute a lot to pop culture, uh, sometimes they got a lot of skeletons in their closet, which sucks because a lot of people don't talk about it enough. When they mention Miles Davis, they need to also mention that he was a, an abuser. Straight up. I haven't listened to Migos since Takeoff passed away because I just can't. I used to listen to Migos almost at maybe every other day, if not every day, at least either in the morning or on my walk, when I walk to work. They're a big part of my daily routine. So when I heard that he passed away, I was really devastated. And my daughter also really likes Migos. So it was, it was a hard hit and I'm not quite ready to jump back on the Migos train yet, but Rest in peace, take off. Very sad. Jid deserves all the Grammys. His storytelling, his flow, his creativity, his beats, everything. Forever Story, are you kidding me? That album is amazing. I think he's so, under, he's criminally underrated. Everyone who, under, who underrates him needs to be arrested for their underrating, for their underrating tragedies. When I listen to Better Days, on Forever Story, I tear up, I tear up. I hope I'm saying his name right, it's Rini, Rini? I don't know, your song Red Lights is amazing, your song Amsterdam is beautiful, it's wonderful, and I like your style, kid. Last but not least, Skin Shape. I don't know if it's one guy or if it's a band, whatever you or y'all are doing, keep that shit up. I mean, it's kind of funky, it's kind of folky, a little bit of reggae. It's a it's a smorgasbord of different genres and I love when I can get an artist or a band and they just keep mixing different things and it all sounds really good. I don't know how they do it, but it's good. 